UDP datagrams that exceed the UDP content inspection queue should not be forwarded. If you forward packets when the UDP content inspection queue is full, the firewall can inspect the content at the UDP layer. So it may not be able to identify and process malicious traffic. The best practice to safely enable applications is to drop segments when the UDP content inspection queue is full. This is located on the firewall under Device, Setup, Content ID, Content ID Settings. The trade-off is that high volume traffic conditions could lead to performance degradation and some applications not functioning smoothly due to dropped packets. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. The next step is to select Failed Checks. For this demo, we're going to remediate the UDP content inspection queue. Click Next. At the top, you can see a message, please review the best practice settings and select the desired option for your config. The UDP content inspection queue is part of the content ID settings. You can see the message here, UDP, do not forward UDP datagrams when UDP content inspection queue is full. As we can see, the best practice settings box is checked. In order for the rule to comply with best practices, we need to set Exceed UDP Queue Enabled to False. If we click the existing settings, you'll see a warning. Are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. So we'll go ahead and reselect best practice settings and click Next. At the very top, you'll see a message, please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. The next section is generate set commands. There's a copy all commands button right here. If you're remediating multiple failed checks, this button will copy all the commands to remediate all of them. Since we're only remediating one failed check, let's scroll down. The next message talks about the limitations with certain terminal emulators and command line interfaces. We recommend limiting the number of lines copied to 20 at a time. The next sentence here talks about configuration changes will not take effect until after a successful commit operation. Please be sure to follow your company's policy with respect to making configuration changes. Now let's look at the commands. The first command is configure, which puts the firewall into configuration mode. The next command is set, device config, settings, CTD, UDP bypass exceed Q to no, which effectively instructs the firewall to drop the packets. And the last command exits the configuration mode. So let's copy the commands and move to the firewall to remediate the issue. We'll paste the commands. Everything looks good. I don't see any error messages. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to perform a commit operation. The configuration committed successfully. Now we'll switch over to the firewall and verify the changes. So we'll navigate to Device, Setup, Content ID, and over in the content ID settings, you can see here that forward datagrams exceeding UDP content inspection queue is unchecked, meaning it's going to drop those instead of forwarding them. This concludes the demo.